All right, good afternoon, Barbell Strong. This is Justin here. Um, this is where I'll be uploading a lot of our videos for the duration of time that we will be enduring this COVID-19. Um, I think we should try to look at this as a positive rather than a negative, and we can always focus on our proper basics, uh, movement, proper basics and our movement patterns at home. Um, I'll show you what we're doing today and then we'll get right to it. We're gonna to try to keep everything pretty structurally the same as what we have done in the past. I'm gonna show you a portion of the workout and then we're gonna demonstrate and then I'll show you another portion and then we'll demonstrate. So let's get through the warm up first. It'll be 50 jumping jacks, 10 single leg, deadlifts per side, 10 lunges, 10 inchworms and 10 squats. So with your jumping jacks, I mean, I know it almost seems silly but jumping jacks can be a very, very good way to warm up, get the heart rate going, um, increase blood flow, just improve our aerobic base. So you'll get 50 of these. If you wanna make it a little more spicy, you can do some squat jacks, work a little bit more on that power. I'm getting into those positioning in the bottom of your squat. After that, we're getting into 10 single leg deadlifts. For the majority of this video, I'll be facing you like this, but at times I'll face you like this so you can see what's happening from a different plane. So, 10 single leg deadlifts, make sure that you're reaching with the heel. We've done these a lot in class. Think about gripping down on the floor. Hopefully, if you're inside, taking your shoes off will be a really big help with this um, exercise as well as a lot of the exercises that we're gonna be doing from this point of view. Very much similar to what we've done in class. 10 single leg deadlifts, working a lot on our balance on these exercises with, with our warm up. After that, you'll get 10 lunges. Think about being on your train tracks. I've used this cue a lot. Torso stays tall, just going forward. If you have the capability, you can do them just walking. Make sure you're not jackhammering your knees into the ground and get 10 of those per side. After that, 10 inchworms. So with your inchworms, hip hinge. I'm thinking about my butt. Going back to the wall, walking it out, core turns on into a push-up position. Big push-up, then walk my hands back. And you get 10 of those. And this is the, I think this is gonna be the most important part for this warm-up right here, is getting into your bottom positioning of your squat. We've done this a lot, but now all of us have, don't have our shoes on, so we're noticing things. Maybe your ankles are coming up a little bit, you have to work up a little bit more on your ankle mobility. Maybe you're favoring one side, one foot more externally rotates than the other. Try to find these because you can have a lot more time now to work on your position, work on the basics here. So find that bottom position of your hole, one reach, one reach, both reaching, squat. And you'll get 10 of those. All right, so that is your warm up. You can pause this video if you need to do that. Then we're gonna move into our power complex. These are gonna involve lunges, and we're going to try to make sure that we're as speedy and as efficient as we can in this portion, especially when we get to that jump. So, I'm gonna show you from this side, actually. I'm doing a reverse lunge, so I'm going back. I have this couch right here, so it's kinda of hard, but I'm reverse lunging, knees trying to stay above heel, it can go to midfoot if, it, if that works for you, but we're trying to go backwards. That's why it's a reverse lunge. We don't want the knee coming super far forward on these. You'll get five of these, and I'd stick on one leg for the complex and then switch over. Once you get five, you're gonna go five, and then you'll do a, it'll look like this. Knee comes up, so we're doing hip flexion and a little bit of a toe raise. I'll show you from this angle now. So I do a leg drops back, and then as I'm coming up, knee comes up, toe comes up. Like if I was to do a jump. So you're gonna get five of those. And then you'll get five with an actual jump. So that'll look like this. Dropping back, then resetting, dropping back, and resetting. When you're landing, watch the knees. Make sure those are landing stacked 
They're not going into that valgus positioning we've talked about in class. You're trying to grip down on the floor and absorb the impact with your quads and hamstrings and glutes rather than your knees or just your flat foot. So be soft when you land, if you can. I'll do a couple more just to demonstrate. If you really, really want to, you can add your arms into it. I try to, I'm not the most coordinated myself, but it'd be opposite arm, opposite leg. So we'll start on the other side, I do my reverse lunge, come up, I'll do a couple of them. Move into the second portion of the complex, knee comes up, toe comes up, and then once I feel comfortable there, reset. You can think about when you drop the left leg back or the back leg back, the other leg, other arm comes up to meet contralaterally. Then as I'm driving, opposites. Okay. So that is your power complex. It looks like this. If you want to pause the video here, I will also be putting this workout in the comments below, as well as sending an email out to all y'all folks. So you got your warm up here, then your power complex, you'll be doing five reverse lunges, then five reverse lunges plus the hip flexion or the knee raise and calf raise. And then you'll do five reverse lunges plus that jump. And that will be your power and speed work for the day. And now we're gonna move into push-ups. One set of AMRAP push-ups here, and then you'll move into, so AMRAP means as many reps as possible. Let's say you get 20 push-ups. All right, I don't think I need to I show you guys these. Um, I trust that you can all do push-ups on your knees or on your toes, or you can use a table, a couch even, if you need that assistance as well. If you're really good at push-ups, use that couch and put your feet on it so you're doing some push-ups from, um, a decline position. So you'll do, let's say, if you get 20 push ups on your air wrap, your second set, you'll rest two minutes in between that first and second set. Your second set, you'll do 75% of that, so 15 push ups. Then you'll rest one more minute after that second set, and then you'll do 50 to 60% of that first set, so 10 to 12 push ups, let's say. The last portion is going to be your positioning and st stability work of the day, and this is going to be good for your squats and your overhead. Mobility, so test the shoulders. I did these yesterday as well as a little bit today. You can use anything for this. I have a barbell to my side. I'm not going to show you from this angle, but I do have that. You can use a band. If you don't have a band, you can use if you have a foam roller. And if you don't have a foam roller, you can use a broom. My broom's in the other room, but you can imagine that this is the broom. So I'm going to put that broom on the back of my neck, just like if we were doing barbell back squats, descending into the bottom portion of my squat, okay? Wherever that may be. For some people, that might be here. For some people, that's gonna be all the way down here, okay? It's really up to where your immobilities are starting to show up. So, if I'm here and my torso is really down, this is not a good position to start. Staying tall. Then, you're gonna do a press. It's called the Sots Press. Opening the chest, Thinking about pushing into the ceiling, trying to keep the shoulders pinched back even as they're extending above your head. You're gonna get five of those, then you can rest it back on your uh, on your traps and get five deep belly breaths. So I'm bracing into my belly at the bottom position of this, and then after that, stand up, drop your weight. Thing with a band. So, get into my positioning. Five of these, pushing the band apart now. Five, and then drop the band. Focus on the breathing. You can slow it down for as long as you want to. If you can, it's gonna be really testing the hips and shoulders as well as the ankles and especially the core. So that is all I have for you today. This isn't too long of a workout. I will be posting more workouts. This is the first of many. I think the next one's gonna focus a little bit more on core, but I'm going to try to have some speed and power work. 
that, as much as I can so we can keep those adaptations that we're building up the whole entire quarter. Um, and going into spring quarter, we'll see what we can be doing. All right, y'all. Take care.